Okay, today it's all about Hardyville, Arizona. It's a old ghost town that pretty much no longer exists except for the cemetery. Bullhead City is built on top of it. So we're gonna drive out there and check it out. And I prepared a small little history video, as usual. So please watch it and I will see you in just a moment. William Harrison Hardy, born in 1823 in New York, was a pioneer, adventurer, and businessman. He became known as Captain Hardy when he came across the country on a wagon train. In the mid-1860s, he built the town of Hardyville in modern-day Bullhead City, Arizona. He erected a cluster of adobe buildings, including a merchant store, a hotel, and a saloon. Hardy went on to establish a post office, a ferry crossing on the Colorado River, and a mail route to Prescott, Arizona, some 165 miles away. The pioneer settlement of Hardyville served as an important ferry crossing and steamboat landing shipping point for the area mines. Sporadic ranching, mining, and milling activities could be found in the area until the 1900s. As mining decreased, Hardyville eventually became abandoned. It became a ghost town. The modern Bullhead City was built on top of the old settlement decades later. Sadly, a small cemetery is all that remains from Hardyville's existence. Different accounts state that anywhere between 15 to 2 dozen people are buried there. The Arizona Pioneer and Cemetery Research Project identifies and gives details of 11 people. These people include a 16-year-old female who died while giving birth, a blacksmith who was murdered, at least two people killed by local Native American tribes, and a stagecoach driver who was accidentally shot in the head. It is said that sometime after the cemetery was constructed, a substantial rain apparently washed out the bluff the cemetery is located on. Supposedly, this sent a number of inhabitants and their coffins to spill down onto the roadway. There is now a retaining wall present to prevent this from ever happening again. Here we are crossing into California at the checkpoint from Arizona on Interstate 40. existed long before Walmart. Yep. Historical marker. I can see the retaining wall up there. Alright, turn left following the historical marker signs. I think I see it. Just up to the left, there's a brown sign. And my guess is that's it. Because it would make sense. It's the Hardyville Cemetery. And it looks like the answer to that is yes. There it is. All right, here we go, Hardyville Cemetery. This is a very interesting history. There it is. 
it is. Yeah, there's all the mounds we were talking about. So they said there's anywhere between six to, what was it, two dozen people buried here? But they only recognize 11. Well, how many mounds do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16? I don't know. So, as you can see, here's the highway right below. And here's the uh, retaining wall that was built after the uh, rain washed away the bluff. And reportedly, since a lot of the coffins tumbling down. It's pretty interesting. Here you go from this angle. I don't know who's who because I don't see any gravestones anywhere. So three more. These are kind of separated from the, uh, the rows over there. used to possibly be a some kind of grave marker that's the only one I can find around here though they did say that a couple of them ended up in the local museum I'll have to take a visit to the museum sometime it's another shot from this angle all the grave sites are apparently over there it's flat on this side There's an old fence. And there's probably part of the same wall that was built when the rainstorm hit, or after the rainstorm hit. There she is, Old Glory. There's the Safeway. It's uh, right across the street from the, um, the cemetery. There's the old wall. Well, it's 122 degrees outside, so time to get some of that coolness. Had to stop by and get some deliciousness. It really helps in this hot weather. And this one's also delicious, equally delicious even. Shout out the bullhead and the, well, there's buildings now, but almost had a good shot of the valley. It's kind of late. Here's the valley. Heading up towards Fort Mojave, Arizona. The river's way back there somewhere. There she is. You already know. <laughs>